você está dando uma dúvida existencial dessa pessoa aqui e eu fiz questão de perguntar isso para todos os entrevistados do programa hoje. Eu espero que até o final a gente consiga dar alguma resposta para isso ou sanar isso. Não é só o pessoal aqui da plateia que passa mal com filas, ou você, viu? Um dos maiores estudiosos do mundo em teoria das filas é o Richard Larson. E a gente falou com ele sobre a questão psicológica das filas. Dá uma olhada. Richard Larson é professor do MIT e, por conta dos seus estudos em teoria das filas, ele já prestou serviços para o governo dos Estados Unidos e para muitas empresas privadas. Como você começou a em linhas? Bem, eu comecei a estudar em linhas como uma pessoa de research. A person, both a student and then eventually faculty member and researcher. And Q's, the, the queuing theory was born in Denmark in, 2000, in 1909 to 1915 by uh, A.K. Erlang, who was uh, probably the world's first uh, telephone engineer. And uh, the Copenhagen Telephone Company asked him, how, you know, how large should our system be so we don't, uh, so we can get calls through, but not so expensive, so we run out of, run out of money because we pay too much. And that was the mathematics of cues. And there have been books written about this and thousands of articles. And then uh, in the 1980s, I had an experience with, uh, with that, that got me into the psychology of cues. And I, I'll focus on psychology of cues much more. And uh, do you want to know what that experience was? Please, yes. <laughs> okay. At my son, who's now in his 40s, was, uh, was like six or seven years old. And I said, said uh, okay, let's go to a big, national box store and get him his first bicycle. Well, I got in there and I, I paid for it and, and they quickly sent me to the, the back of the store in what looked like the warehouse area. And I gave my ticket to the warehouse person. And then I saw over in the corner, a woman who was sitting there crying and just wailing. And I went over to comfort her. She said, I've been waiting here for 40 minutes and people have gotten their waffle irons and their toasters and chairs and other things. And my, my, my item has not been delivered yet. So it was a big violation of first come, first serve. And soon I recognized the same thing. The same thing happened to me. It took me 40 minutes to get the red bicycle. And I was so furious by the time I brought it back into the car with a, in a box. I said, that box will never be open. I'm going to return it. I'm going to return it tomorrow. I'm going to take Eric to a nice expensive bicycle store and get his first bicycle somebody really, really nice. Three weeks later, I was still fuming. I was still furious about this. So I, so I decided to write a, a research proposal to the National Science Foundation, and they funded it. So that's what, that's what started my, my work on the psychology of cue. And, 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 and that, that example is, is key because one of the things that annoys people most in cues is violation of fairness, which is usually first come, first serve, not always, but violation of first come, first serve. And when you have people who arrive after you get service before you, uh, that really infuriates people, and that's what they remember. Tá aí alguém tentando resolver o que incomodou bastante, né? No próximo bloco a gente mostra estratégias para poder tornar a fila um pouco mais agradável. O hiperconectado já volta. 